Humbled is the word that comes to mind. Um, speaking to my offensive coordinator, Larry Dotrieve at Louisiana Tech, crazy coon ass. <laughs> he said 40 years it's been, and he's sorry he couldn't be here because he and his beautiful family and lovely wife Kay are headed out on a Hawaiian vacation. I said, well, good for you. I'd like to be there. Um, but Larry uh, wanted me to pass along. That is a long time coming. Not for me, but for him. <laughs> because it, it, he, he, he meant that much to me. It starts before Larry. It starts with my family, my Frank and Eve Dunnigan, sitting right back there. Um, growing up in Ohio, being raised in Texas, coming to school in Louisiana. I got plucked out of the state of Texas by a coach that I think most everybody in this room probably knows by EJ, EJ Lewis. He found me in Dallas, Texas in 1979, along with Randy Crouch, and uh, brought me over to Louisiana Tech. And uh, that's where it all started for me, trying to understand the game of football. Uh, four years there, 14 years in the Canadian Football League, 20 years in broadcasting, three years in coaching. I'm still trying to figure out the game of football. It teaches you so much about yourself, things you don't know, things you got to learn. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, the mindset continues to stay the same. You just try to do the right thing, and oftentimes doing the right thing is not the easy thing. And to me, that's what the game of football is all about. It's never easy. It's hard. It's, it's really hard. And uh, it's hard when you're healthy. And uh, then you learn quickly that you got to find a way to play when you're not healthy and be productive. And I think that's the key. That's what separates the men from the boys. And uh, that's what I always try to do. Is if there's an inch to be gained, I'd go get it. It cost me many, many times. It cost me my career in 96. I've been dealing with post-concussion syndrome for 23 years. And I'm, a, and I'm soldiering in that world right now. So there's so many things I can talk about, so many people I want to talk about. And, uh, but the best thing that happened to me at Louisiana Tech was I found my beautiful wife, Kathy. That's a Tallulah girl. And... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, she'll be here tomorrow, along with my family. And uh, yeah, God puts you in places for certain reasons, and she came into my life, and she's never left. So um, I'm honored and I'm humbled to be associated with such a great class. And uh, from a kid being born in Lakewood, Ohio, like I said, to being raised in Dallas, Texas, supplanted in a competitive world of athletes I didn't think existed on this planet and having to learn how to figure it out. Started out as a wide receiver, moved to cornerback. I was running routes in the seventh grade and the ball was thrown over my head and I picked it up and slung it back and coach stopped and said, who's that? And uh, he said, get over here. He said, can you play quarterback? I said, I'm not sure. He says, well, you can sling it. And from that point forward, um, I was a quarterback. And uh, I always liked throwing things. And uh, unfortunately for Louisiana Tech fans, for four years, I was often throwing things to the wrong team. <laughs> in fact, in fact, I stand here humbled because I still, I think, own the record of most interceptions all time at Louisiana Tech. Yeah. <laughs> But I'm honored and proud for that is because that's the one that builds the most character, you know, how to get knocked down and get back up and dig yourself a hole and find a way to work your team out of it. And I was willing to do that. Um, uh, I'm, uh, I don't want to talk about myself because the game was never about me. And it's about my teammates and finding a way to bring those guys together and get the job done. Um, I think that's what I brought to the table. Um, some of my favorite quarterbacks growing up, 
Well, this will paint you a picture of my mindset. For some of you folks in the room, you may recognize this name. Yeah, I, uh, Mike Curtis was on my wall growing up. He's a linebacker for the Baltimore Colts. And uh, that's the way I thought the game was supposed to be played, like the way Mike Curtis played it, and that's why I took to the game, no matter what position I was playing. And so I, I look back, and people often ask me, who were some of your, some of your guys that you idolized at the position? I go with Billy Kilmer, <laughs> Sonny Jurgensen, Kenny Stabler. Kenny, because in his book, he was quoted as saying, he studied his playbook by the light of the jukebox. And uh, there's some times over the course of my career, I was doing that too. And, uh, and then Roger Staubach. And uh, now it's a pretty big contrast. You got two dumpy dudes, and you got Kenny who slung it left handed, and you got Roger Staubach who, who seemed to make every throw on the football field and was so talented. And often people say, well, what about Terry Bradshaw? I'm going, well, Terry is uh, oftentimes. Um, and all the times when you talk about tech football, he's the first guy you think of. And uh, I was just honored to be on the same football field, playing in the same state as somebody as awesome as that guy is. And I've kind of followed his career away from the game in the broadcasting world for the last, going to my 20th year broadcasting in Canada. So it's about passion. I believe that word has been used here. And um, I'm passionate about football. I'm passionate about life because of Frank and Eve Dunnigan, the way I was raised, no matter whether it was Ohio, Texas, or Louisiana. And I became very, very fond of the state of Louisiana and all, all the things that it taught me, not only about myself, but about this beautiful, beautiful people in this, in this state. I remember sitting outside the hut with Leland Pageant and learning how to eat crawfish for the first time. And uh, he was sucking back six to my one, and I was saying, I'm going to starve <laughs> before I figure this out. But, uh, you know, and, and it just goes from there. So many stories, and hopefully I have a chance with y'all, or most of y'all, over the course of the weekend to have a cool one and maybe share some stories and some times and reminisce about all the great times that I've had here in the state of Louisiana and how humbled I am to be associated with such a great Hall of Fame. Thank you. Matt Dunnigan, ladies and gentlemen. We'll hear more.